joy weapon. Suddenly we've got a fight on our hands. Why? Welcome back to Drevon's Garage. This episode is a part of a series where my dad and I take a 63 Corvair and a G-body frame and combine them together to create a hot rod. In this episode, we managed to create the sides for the trunk and put them in the car. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you at the end of the video. there. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm holding on. Okay, get out the way. Okay, somewhere in the back here, close to that. Once it stops breaking. Very proud of what I did. Well, you weren't exactly a master of this when you put it down, were you? No. Okay. Not yes, a big deal. I was a master. Yeah, you were a freaking Jedi, I'm telling you. Yeah. This is going to be fun closing up in here. Yes. Still have to do some thinking on how to do that properly. Okay, so this is what Dad created out of the template from an episode or two ago. I think that'll close up the back side anyways. Yeah. So the back side anyways, we still have to close up the, the back. But that should work. And then we can just extend this into this and that'll create our wheel well. It isn't art but it is functional and if you decide to get silly with this thing later that leaves enough room to cut the frame and you've already got basically a tubbed <laughs> wheel well here we might have to wide body it before we actually tub it if you decide to go ape with this thing yeah he was doing that while i was shaving this down so there's still a bit more work to do i'd have to weld some of the spots i didn't get do you enjoy welding? Oh, when I when I can do it, right? Yeah. But I don't pretend to be any kind of a master at it. I 
Now, is that tack strong enough where we can actually manipulate this and work with it and fit it? Suddenly we've got a fight on our hands. Why? Right there. Okay, that's hanging over way more than it needs to be. Take a full half inch off of that. Okay, everything's stiffer. That's decent. I think that's what we needed. Okay. Yep, burn through. Uh, not terrible. Right up to here. Right in here it started going to poop. Poo poo! Why? What do we got? A few pieces I need fixing, right? All of this. Should prime that thing. That or undercoat it. Wow. Because we're not going to be able to get to that when we have it in the car. Air will move around that a little bit, but not a lot. There's going to be a half inch air gap between that and the body. Yeah. Give or take. So we should do something with that now to weather protect it so it doesn't collect water and start rotting. Once we have this all fitted together, we're probably gonna blow a bunch of um, urethane into the back to seal everything where it actually comes down to a, a point where water would set and rest and rot. But that's gonna be a reach and we're not necessarily going to be able to 100% guarantee that there are no openings, no cracks, no nooks, no nothing that that, you know, that water can set in there. Unfortunately, we're building the car from the outside in rather than the inside out. So we're gonna have to do with, you know, what we have. So it is what it is. Intentionally left it light through there because that's where we're gonna be welding. This is weld through, but we're going to weld it to the car there. We're going to weld it to the car along these seams. Yeah. So less is probably more in those situations, despite the fact this is weld through. Is it just near? We've been priming a lot more recently. We're starting to close the car up. So yeah, there's more stuff getting primed. This is a place we can't go back and hit again. Once we put that in the car, there's no touchy. <laughs> I left a little bit of a lip here to make sure that nothing gets in there. If we can help it, and then we'll seal the rest of it up from the inside once it's all welded up. What's that stuff? Undercoat. We're not going to paint this stuff, so this will protect it. That said, this we should be able to get from inside the wheel well. This not so much, so I'm gonna put some on here. Oh, this stuff's gonna raise a stink when we start welding this stuff together, but. You have a graceful hand. Just comfortable with this stuff, kiddo. Given time, you will be too, or you'll be doing other things. That all depends on you. Now that's rushed, <laughs> so.
got some more heat warpings going. That's going to be a problem. That's rust. All right, let's get a heat sink on that. Anyways, we run the risk of that thing just blowing out entirely. That's one. That sounds better. I'm getting into some metal now. Okay, that's kind of ugly. So we'll have to be wheeled back, but it's sealed up. Eventually, we're gonna have to kind of close this area off, but we need to leave access for those two bolts in case we take the bumper apart. So I'm thinking what we'll end up doing is probably coming like straight across here and then down into the uh, trunk wall. And then we'll just take this all and kind of box it, but leave an opening right here so we can get to those bolts, I think. But I haven't quite figured out how I want to do that yet. Or if we should just build like some sort of a box that kind of encloses all of this, including the tail lights, and then upholster this, and then we'll just urethane shut. I don't know. What's urethane? Is that the gray stuff? It's glue. It's a bonding agent, kind of rubbery. It'll stick to the metal seal everything off because i don't want to start you know we're already welding more on the body than i wanted to but we're doing it in an area where there's a whole lot of transition and already a whole lot of damage so if it's a little no big deal right so i don't know i mean where do you stop that's the problem with this car is where do you stop you know we're using rusty metal to patch and repair rustier metal. <laughs> the car will be a rip, but it's never going to be pretty. It was never intended to be pretty, necessarily. Or was it? Well, that's about it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, then please give us a like. And if you want to see more of what we're going to be doing, please make sure to subscribe. And with that all being said, I hope you guys have a lovely week and weekend whenever you're watching. And I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>